Mr Jeremy Buckingham. President, on February 26, 1937, US President Franklin Delano Re Roosevelt wrote to all US state governments, governors on the need for uniform soil conservation laws. In that letter, he said, a nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. 75 years later, that sentiment, that maxim has never been more important. In an age of climate change, of increasing food insecurity and rising populations, it has never been more important to maintain, and protect, conserve, restore our fragile soils that feed us all and provide such a magnificent bounty. So this evening I rise to talk on that, but also on the utter failure of the National Party to stand up for farmers, for the state interest and the national interest and stop the 268 million tonne Chinese government owned open cut coal mine run uh, at Watermark uh, in the heart of the Liverpool Plains, in the heart of New South Wales food bowl uh, in the Liverpool Plains. And the uh, members opposite have said that this mine is not part of the Liverpool Plains. It's not on the floodplain. It's not on the best soil. That is absolute rubbish. To say that you can mine watermark, you can rip the guts out of that, is like saying that you can remove a, an organ from the human body and the rest of the body will function. It is inter interconnected. It is interdependent. It is absolutely fundamental to the productivity, the sustainability of that region that this mine does not go ahead and it will not go ahead. The people there will stop it. The people of New South Wales have overwhelmingly said that they will stand with the, with the Liverpool Plains youth, with the Karuna Coal Action Group, with the Mukai Land Care Group and stop this in the courts by civil disobedience or by throwing out a government that does not stop this mine. And what has the National Party done? Nothing. Nothing. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't. What they could have done. One. De they could have declared the Liverpool Plains a state significant agricultural land where coal mining is pro prohibited under Schedule 2 of the Rural Land Sept 2008. But you didn't. Two, you could have passed specific legislation to make the Liverpool Plains off limits to coal mining. But you didn't. Three, you could have supported the Greens' responsible mining bill, which introduced no go, no -go zones for productive agricultural land like the Liverpool Plains, which you promised to do, but you didn't. Four, you could have designated the whole of the Liverpool Plains, a biased physical strategic agricultural land under the strategic regional land use policy and ensured bee sellers protected from coal mining, but you didn't. Five, you could have cancelled Shenhua's expiration licence under section 1251B1 of the Mining Act after a breach of their licence conditions was found to be a significant risk in 2012, but you didn't. Six, you could have cancelled Shenhua's expiration licence by determining that the land is required for a public purpose person purpose under section 1251E of the Mining Act and paid compensation for the mining improvements on the, on the land. But you did it. You could have negotiated a licence buyback with Shenhua by paying them back the $300 million of dirty money negotiated by Ian MacDonald. But you didn't. You, you could have ensured the mine had, had to pass through the mining and petroleum gateway process, including a gate in the gateway, so that the mine could have been rejected if it did not meet the necessary conditions. But you didn't. You You've done absolutely nothing. You've sat there mute. You've sat there trying to walk both sides of the street. And the people of New South Wales will hold you to account. And what have we heard? I've heard more, I've heard more hollering from you tonight than you've said anything about at all. You used to yell out Shenhua all the time when you thought it was a joke. Well, it's you that are the joke, the National Party. This will be written on your political party's epitaph. This is the moment when you abandon the value that you came here for, the country party, the national party, the Honourable Trevor Khan and his contribution, you should reflect on the values you abandoned when you didn't have the guts to stand up to the Liberal Party. And the only people that have said anything, Kevin Anderson, Kevin Humphreys, have come out and said, we back the mine, the mine will be fine. Well, the mine will never happen over my dead body. Will you tear the heart out of our farming country? Because a, a country that destroys destroys its soil, destroys itself. The young farmers out there won't let you do it. The people of New South Wales won't let you do it. As Barnaby Joyce said, it's madness. We'll stop it or we'll stop you. Yeah, get him.